know you're taking care of yourself. I'm hoping you're taking care of yourself. I know you're not staying in situations in life that you shouldn't be in. I'm hoping you're not staying in situations in life you shouldn't be in. I know you realize that you only have one life. And you can't waste it. I'm hoping you realize that you only have one life and you can't waste it. Emotions is a motherfucker, ain't it? But emotions is powerless. Let me say that. Let me say this. Emotions is powerful. But emotions is a, is powerless if you think logically. If you use your intelligence, your emotions will not overpower that. If you go back in a la la land or you know, emotional land, then yeah, your intelligence, man, I can see her in the bed with that guy, but you know what, that's my woman, fuck that, or he's sleeping with another girl, but that's my man, fuck that, you know, that, that type of stuff right there is your emotions instead of your intelligence, because your intelligence can say, you know what, man, as much as I don't want to leave that dude or this girl, but she and he was with another guy, I gotta leave him, you know, but Why they can't leave? It, it's it, it's it's sad because I've been in this situation, and this is why I'm hesitant to get attached to somebody. Because once I get attached to somebody, I'm no different than the next person. You know, I'm no different than the next motherfucker. Right? Some people they can get attached to you, be with you 20 years, you do one thing, they'll leave you like that. Right? Then some of us, we have a hard time of leaving. We have a hard time of breaking away. But I think everybody is as strong as the people who walk away right then. I think the problem is the people who walk away right then, they think logically and they have an abundance mindset. The people who don't leave, they start thinking in their feelings and they don't want to accept the reality that this motherfucker just did this. He just uh, stole my car and or beat me or cheated or whatever. You know what I mean? But um, you know, a lot of people they would just let they would rather live in a fake relationship than to actually be happy in a relationship because of the feeling. And that's all it is, it's a false feeling, and it's a lie. And if it was the truth, then they never would have done each other wrong that dirty. You don't, you don't, people don't do each other that wrong that dirty unless they really feel that way, you know what I'm saying? For instance, if I have a woman, I don't want no other woman touching me. Now a lot of men might say, you bullshit, that's cap. Nah, if I really, really like the woman, and that is my woman, I want the same that I would want from her, I gotta give to her. I can't be a hypocrite and say, you do this, but I'm not gonna do this. Nah. Plus, the way I feel about her is the way I feel about myself, so therefore, I wouldn't want no other woman to touch me, right? On the other hand, let's say I'm in a relationship with a woman, but maybe she cheats or some shit, right? Or she's abusive or whatever. I would probably, I would leave, but in that case, that would be the only way that I could see myself allowing someone else to fuck with me, right? I've been cheated on many times, but I've also been someone they cheated on a few times, not many, because I don't like to be that way, but it's happened a few times. And in both situations, I'm sure, the person was doing their dirt and then coming home to you and loving you like it never happened. Like they so in love with you. And this is the scary part about relationships. And especially if you get attached to the person because you're going to put up with it. About 95% people don't have it in them to walk away immediately when somebody do them wrong because they still want that relationship feeling. They don't want to be alone. That, that's what it really boils down to people. It's not... It's not that they love the, the, the beta or the beta love the, the girl. It's they don't want to be alone. 
And the reason why I say beta is because alpha, if you don't, if you're an alpha man and you don't want a woman, you walk away because you're not scared to be alone. The beta cheats because he's scared to be alone. An alpha man walks away. The beta cheats. He stays there. I need my woman for this, but I really don't want her. I want other women. So this is what he do. That's why he stays. And the reason why the woman can't leave the beta is because when she, when she because she's attached to him, she actually needs him. See, a lot of women, if they would have just left relationships alone for a while, right, instead of going from the guy to guy to guy and built themselves up, they wouldn't have had to settle for a guy they really didn't want. See, the woman is what a, a, a beta, if, he, if he's a beta in her eyes, remember, because you can be beta and still she might think you alpha or you could really be an alpha and a woman might think you beta because you don't smoke weed or something, who knows. But the point is, when she looks at you as a beta, she's more than likely with you because she feels like she needs you. Now take a, a woman who you will call an alpha female who got her shit together. She focused on herself and not no dumbass man, right? She focused on herself, got her shit together. Now she don't need a man, so she's not gonna settle for a quote unquote beta in her eyes, right? So when she's with a man, she's not scared to leave that guy if he does wrong, if he cheats. You got a lot of women right now with beta males. They'll cheat on the beta because she can't leave because she didn't put herself in a position to where she don't need a man. So instead of her being able to leave somebody she really don't want, she has to stay there. And the same thing with a lot of these betas. They can't leave the woman because who's going to do my laundry? Who's going to cook my food? Who's going to pay all my bills? Alpha males don't do that shit, man. We're on our shit. We're on our shit, man. Because we're not going to depend on a woman. We want a, we want a woman to not want for nothing when they come in our world. You know what I mean? That's the difference. The beta wants you to come and help him in his world. Fine, if a woman want to come in our world and add shit, fine. But the world's already been built. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z already had this world built, but Beyonce come and just make the world even that much more better, right? She bring her world with his world, now it's an old, big-ass, different world. But, you know, betas, they can't, they need women. Just like women need, just like women need the betas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the so-called beta needs women. That's why he can't leave you, that's why he has to cheat. Instead of him saying, you know, I don't, I don't want to be with you no more, I'm going to leave. He can't do that. Or when he sees you about to leave, uh, I love you, I love, blah, 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 whatever. Y'all yeah, know how they do. When, when a man sees a woman get fed up about to leave, then he want to act right, you know, for about two months. And then he'll pull the mask back off and do the same shit he did for her, you know what I'm saying? And a woman going to fall for that if she's not a solid-ass woman, you know? And the reason why women fall for that is because they go off their emotions. They don't realize that once you're attached to somebody, there's already there's always going to be emotions there until you detach. So, in other words, it's normal. It's normal for you to miss a motherfucker that just uh, cheated on you or, or stole your car or did something to your kids or whatever. It's normal for you to miss the person, even though they that bad, and even though you might you might despise them that much at that time. Understand, you're going to still miss them because the attachment. However can't let the attachment cause you to go into your emotions instead of into your logical thinking, right? In other words, I can miss an ex every now and then. It could pop in my mind like, damn, I kind of miss her. But if I think about it logically, like what she did or or what any ex, you know what I mean? What they did or something, it's like, nah. Because, see, the emotion part made me miss the person, right? Out the blue, just emotionally thinking. But my logical thinking makes me be like, nah, you don't want to get attached to that no more. You stay away from that. And that's the problem why people can't leave people that they shouldn't be with, man. And they're going to stay and they're going to, they just going to destroy themselves even more because if the person was right for them, they wouldn't be in a bad situation. They wouldn't be cheating on each other and all this other shit. They'd be perfectly happy. But that's not what you see because nine times out of ten, they really don't want each other and they probably never really did. They probably just didn't want to be alone. So they went from 
a cousin to a cousin, or a brother to a brother, or a friend to a friend, whatever. Or a woman to a woman, or a man, man from a man to another man, you know what I'm saying? But she can't leave, man. She can't leave the beta. Only women, this is why I tell men to um, get with, get, don't be worried, don't be scared of women who are not scared to be alone. That's what you want. Because if you don't, if you and that woman break up, or y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all break up, y'all an argument, whatever, she not gonna be quick to be with another guy right away trying to replace you. She actually gonna sit back and reflect and think like, it, should I be with this person or not? Not on her knees with another guy dick in her mouth already. That's, and, and the same thing vice versa with the men. When you women get what betas, as soon as they break up with you, as soon as you leave, they need another woman to cook for them and all this shit. But an alpha, he gonna take time to himself. Like damn, because an alpha not even gonna get in a relationship and get attached to a woman unless he actually wants to, right? So when that means what that means is when they break up, he's gonna need time away because he really wanted to be with the woman. They just get with women they really don't wanna be with because they have to, just like the so-called woman who can't leave the beta. It's the same fucking shit, man. There's a reason why I said beta in the title because that's what the fuck it is. If you're scared to leave a woman, instead, if you rather cheat on a woman instead of leaving her, that's beta. That's beta to me because you don't want the woman. Why not let her go? You're scared that another man gonna get her. You're scared. Plain and simple, man. An uh, uh, alpha male wanted an uh, alpha male wants a woman to be happy regardless. He always wanted a woman to be happy. So if that means you not with me, as long as you're happy, that's what we we cool with that. It ain't this. I, I want to act like I like you, so you can't like the next motherfucker type shit, right? Or I need you, so I gotta keep you around, but I'm gonna still cheat on you and all this other shit. Like I said, I've seen both sides. I've, I've rare, it's, uh, I think it's only happened like a handful of times, being honest. Handful of times that I've been the guy that they cheated on. But I can name more than a handful of times where I've been the guy who got cheated on, right? Did I say that right? I've been the guy they cheated with a handful of times. Probably not even a handful, but I've been the other guy plenty of times. But the, it's the same scenario. It's the same thing. It's somebody going out, messing with somebody, and coming back to you like it never happened, telling you they love you and all that bullshit. That's bullshit, man. And I'm here to tell y'all today, man, you do not have to stay in relationships with people that you uh, cheating on or got cheated on by. Because if you're cheating, that means you're not happy. You don't gotta stay, man. Let them go. Why do them dirty? Why? Why not be a man or woman about it and say, you know what, I don't want him no more. Let me go. But you know why they can't? Because they never put themselves in a position to be where they don't need a man or a woman. That's why I said beta in the title. Because he needs the woman. Just like that woman, you could call her a beta woman. She needs the man. Not want a man, needs a man. But anyways, man, I'm pretty sure that, like I said, it's the same thing. Whether I was getting, whether I was the one they cheated with, which only happened a handful of times, because I don't like that. I don't like to deal with that. You know what I mean? And it's happened plenty of times where I've been the other guy, but it's the same thing. And it makes you think, when you sit back and you look like, damn, that girl really just let me in her house or something, and now she's hugged up with that guy like she loved him. That's crazy. That makes you not even want to even think about a relationship again. And that's why a lot of the so-called players, I ain't gonna call them alphas, but players, that's why they don't want a lot of women. That's why they just play them. And it's, and it, and it's unfortunate. And sometimes the same thing with the female player. The reason why she plays men instead of looking for love. Because she's seen it. She's seen the guy that, uh, you know, messing with her and then go home to his wife like he hugged up and loved it. And all in love and shit. She knows. So she's like, man, that's crazy. Once you see some shit like that, it's hard for you to even fathom. You start thinking about your past relationship. Like, damn, I know the ex cheated on me, but how many times? It's never the first time, by the way, when you catch a dog. And it's never going to be the last. So you might as well just leave. You do not have to be with... That's what I want to get back to. You do not have to be with somebody, whether you're the cheater or not. Fine, everybody fuck up. Everybody deserves forgiveness. 
Whether you the cheater or the one being cheated on, you do not have to stay with somebody you don't want. If you're cheating, obviously you don't want the person, so why not just leave? And if you're a man, that's beta. Because you shouldn't be holding hold a girl hostage that you don't want. Because you're scared to be alone because you need the woman. That's what it boils down to. That's what the women are doing. So that's why it's beta. I give a woman a little bit of a pass for a little bit. They don't, it's hard for women to be alone. But y'all men, I don't give you no pass. What are you doing, dog? You don't want to leave her alone. And if she got a boyfriend, leave her alone. Make her leave the boyfriend first. You want to be with me? You got to leave first. See, that betas is the ones that are, I'm cool with taking sloppy seconds. I know you fucking him and sucking him, but I. But since I'm so fucking thirsty for sex, I'll just speak, I love, I get off sleeping with other other uh, men's women. This is what betas, that's beta. That's beta, man. Only time I've ever considered it because the woman made it seem like we're not really together, we breaking up, this type of shit. And if the moment I see that woman, remember I said a handful of times where I've been this so-called one they basically was sleeping with and that guy not knowing. The only way I would do that is if I thought that girl was leaving. But the moment I sense that this woman, this woman ain't leaving this guy, I'm gone. Because maybe the guy ain't the one, ain't the problem, maybe it's the woman. Plus, if, if you really an alpha, you know what I mean? You do not share. You don't take sloppy seconds. What the fuck I look like? That's like somebody bringing me food that's been ate on. And I'm okay with that. Why are you okay with that? And even as a woman, not leaving the beta. Why are you okay with that? Why are you okay with him cheating and you not leaving? Why? See, if you were on your shit as a woman and not focusing on black-headed ass men, you would be in a place that where you don't need a man. So you could be like, all right, goodbye. I'll just wait till I'll get my, I'll get a... You're going to get a better man by doing this. This is what women got to understand. I understand that the man's a provider and all this and all that. But you as a woman, you want to bring your value up. Not just what looks, but everything. You want to, you ain't got to fucking be a billionaire and all that either. But just be on your shit. Don't be messy. That way you can attract a better quality guy. Instead of wasting your work on Mr. Beta. That you can't leave because of attachment or the need for the motherfucker, right? But it's usually attachment a lot of times. You know, you're attached to the person, so your emotions overpower, overpower your intelligence. So even though he cheated, I'm going to stay anyway. You can't do that, man. And your emotions is telling you you're ugly. Your emotions is telling you all men cheat. Your emotions is telling you all these things. Nobody at once, you, you know what I mean? But it's not true. And even if nobody did want you, woman or man, if nobody wanted you, it don't matter. It's still better than hugging up, kissing somebody that was just sucking and fucking another guy. And you think it's love. You think this girl loves you. That's dangerous, man. What happens if you get a, have a kid by her? I think back on my situation throughout life. When I didn't know, when I was blue pill and didn't understand the signs of what a woman cheating. I know now. A woman can't get that. I can feel it. But back then, oh, that's just a dream. But now, the moment God shows me that dream of a woman having sex with another, I already know what time it is. I'm gone. And it's never failed. The Most High always comes to me in this dream. Because, because in the Bible it says, once you sleep with a woman, she's supposed to be your wife, basically. So when she sleeps with another man, she's no longer yours. The Most High always comes to me in the dream. But back then, I'm like, nah, that's just a dream, man. I was just probably high or drunk or something tripping, man. That was a nightmare. No, it ain't. Because every time it's been spot on. It's happened, I ain't gonna say recent, recently, but it's happened not like forever ago. It's happened and it was right again. It's always right. But I'm here to tell y'all today, man, you do not have to be in relationships to be happy if they, if they not make you happy. The goal is to be in a relationship to be happy, man. So how are you gonna be happy hanging on to somebody that don't make you happy? You know you're not, uh, you know you're not happy deep down inside. Because I know how it feels as a man. Taking back a woman that fucked another guy. I, you feel like a bitch, dog. That's not alpha, dog. That's beta as fuck. And so is, I know you got a boyfriend, so, but I, I like to sleep around with, I fucked your bitch. That's beta. I know you hear it in rap music all the fucking time, but that's beta. You, you willing to share another motherfucking shit? No. Tell that woman, hey, you leave him, then we can talk. If you don't leave him, we ain't talking. Period. It's got to be that way. You can't be beta about it. Well, it's pussy. So I need pussy. Man, that's that weak beta shit, man. Pussy overpowering you. That's another problem 
in another way the men lose their confidence that's another way that we lose confidence like Pac said y'all motherfuckers let pussy overpower you and take your confidence man you, you're not going to attract a solid woman a solid woman is going she's trying to sense out a man that ain't for everybody because she's not for everybody and she don't want a man that's been for everybody too she going no man y'all y'all tripping man hey man you do not need a relationship, man. I would not be where I was today if I stayed in, in relationships that I should have stayed in. Like I said, I'm not the type of person that is easy to walk away. You know, some people, they got it in them. The moment they see you cheating or something, they gone. Me, I ain't gonna lie, it's not easy. When I see it, I probably won't leave. I'll probably just downgrade the woman. I probably won't kick her out of my life or some shit. But then again, eventually I probably would. But, you know, that's a flaw that I got to fix. Like, next relationship, if I see her cheat, I got to leave then. I can't be like, man, well, you know what, I was just, I didn't see that. That She she probably, I just probably made her cheat. Nah, fuck all that, man. Or you just probably made him cheat. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. He did what he wanted to do because he wanted to do it. He going to do it again because you're not the one he really wants. If you're the woman that he really wants, he not going to do that. I don't give a fuck what any man says about what. You just can't get multiple women. That's why you wouldn't sleep with multiple women. Bullshit. If you really care about a woman, you know karma coming if you fuck another woman. Which means, if you really care about a woman, and you fuck another woman, the moment you did it, your faith was silk, nigga. You already know somebody fucking her. Because that's just the way it is. Karma coming. And if it, and if nobody fuck her, you're going to lose her. You're going to lose her. You sealed your faith. So don't give me that bullshit. Not only that, why, why would you even risk the chance? Because we all know when people cheat, it gets, it, the dirt comes to the light. So if you really like a woman, you ain't about to risk that shit. These men got y'all women believing that all men cheat. And, and, and some of these men got y'all men believing that, you know, it's wrong if you only want one woman. Why is it wrong? Why? If I could, if I could teach my woman to please me sexually and in every way that I want. Why the fuck I need another woman for? Why the fuck would I not want to be pleased by the woman I like? This don't make no fucking sense. Think about it. When it comes to attention and shit, when you, when you get attention from somebody you don't like, like say it's a guy you don't like in your inbox or something, you get attention from him, that don't mean shit. But when it's from a guy that you want, it means shit, right? Right or wrong? So, the logic, in my mind anyway, why the fuck would I have to sleep with another woman if my woman gives me every every sexual desire I need? Why? Why would I want it from her? I, I don't understand that shit. Why I want to sleep with a woman who got different energy, maybe STDs and all that? Who knows, right? But I'm, I'm going to say this. Most people do cheat and most people are full of shit, right? But you're better off single. I mean, why be in a relationship and sharing motherfuckers? Why? Get on your shit and you won't have to be in a relationship. I don't have to put up with a woman's shit. So if a woman do some bullshit, well, I guess we won't be together, right? That don't mean that I that don't mean that I won't go hard for a woman. But you know, bullshit like other men and all that, I'm not putting up with that. I don't have to. But if I'm attached to a woman, this is what I want y'all to understand. If I'm not attached, I can just bounce. But if I was attached to that woman, I'm probably gonna downgrade it and not be able to bounce, at least not right away. Because the attachment. See, everybody acts like attachment is something that just goes away. They don't understand that it doesn't matter if I caught her in the bed last night with another guy. If I'm attached to her, I'm still going to care about her the next day. I might be pissed at her and hate her to death, but the feelings are still there. They don't leave just overnight. So when you start missing the motherfucker, they just feel it. Don't let your emotions overpower your intelligence. Right? When you miss, you think you're missing the guy, remember why you even in the position to be missing the motherfucker. Remember why y'all not together. Oh, that's right, he fucked over girl. That's, that's what it, you know what, I can. And, and another thing, motherfuckers, once they see who a person is, they want to still go back to who they thought the person was or who the person so-called used to be, even though that person probably was never that person in the first place. But let's hypothetically say they changed yeah right whatever but anyway let's say that right people they in love with that person they not in love with the person they just caught in the bed 
So they don't want to let go of a, it's a lie, like Eminem, that, that fucking video, man. You love the lie, man. It ain't got nothing to do with no fucking love, man. It's a lie. It's a lie, man. If you love somebody, you're not cheating. You're like, man, I need a break from you. You know, I'm not happy with you. I'm taking a break. It ain't even no other woman or man involved. That's bullshit, dog. Why is another woman or man involved? If you love somebody so much, I don't understand this shit, man. Either, either motherfuckers' definition of love is different, or, or I'm just tripping or some shit. Because the last time I checked, if I love a woman, ain't no, I don't need no backup plan, none of that. Because if it don't work with this woman, then I guess I'm gonna have to be alone for a while. You know why? Because I love the woman, right? And since I love the woman, I'm gonna need a break from all women. I'm not even gonna wanna even deal with women. See, that's how you know if a motherfucker really loved you or not, man. Because when, when y'all break up, they need a break. Not running off to the next woman or man. They don't do that shit. You, you actually don't even want to be around women and men when you get hurt by a woman you love. That's facts. Because you so hurt by it, it reminds you, you could probably try and it ain't gonna work. You like, man, damn, I just miss her even more. It just make you miss a woman even more. So you don't even want to deal with it. Cause it just reminds you of what you had with her. And it's not fair for the other people too, by the way. But you know, everybody try to use these rebounds and shit, misuse them, should I say to try to get over their little hurt, they little band-aids and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I tell you this, man, you're better off being single and talking to whoever you want versus being in a relationship with a cheater. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Even if you're a female, let's say you're a female player or a male player or something. Let's say a female player. At least you can get resources from multiple men. Why the fuck are you staying with one guy that's cheating and shit? That don't make no sense. It makes zero sense. That's the uh, emotions in you overpower your intelligence. You're sharing the motherfucker anyway. So what's the difference between you dealing with whoever you want that you might have to share versus a motherfucker that you're sharing and giving your all to? Remember this video that I made about the side chick versus the main chick. The main chick got it worse because she's actually giving her all to that guy and still sharing him. The side chick, she just, she just basically having sex. He might give her money or something. Not saying that's right, but I'm saying the main chick has it worse because she's cooking for him. She's emotionally attached to him and all these other things, right? Giving his all, giving her all to him and all that, and still sharing him. That don't make no sense. That's like me uh, and one other guy investing in a stock, right? But he, he, we both getting the same benefit of the stock, right? Let's say a $100,000 stock, and he getting 50%, and I'm getting 50%, but he's only investing 10% and I'm investing the uh, 50% or whatever. Yeah. But he's still getting 50%. That's what's going on with the main shit. You don't, don't do that shit, man. You don't need a relationship, man. And, and, and that's the mentality you gotta have. You can't have the mentality of, I don't wanna be alone. You gotta have the mentality of, I don't need a relationship. Definitely not a happy one. Unhappy one, should I say. Because how you ever gonna find a happy one holding on to this shit? Remember that picture I showed y'all with the so-called Jesus? Right? With the big bear in the back and the little girl don't want to let go of that little ass bear. That you see that shit all over the globe. Not with just relationships, with jobs, all type of shit. Stop being scared out here. You gotta have an abundance mindset, man. It's hard for all of us. It's not easy for me. You know, maybe maybe there's something better. Maybe I could own a few trucks right now. But gotta get that abundance mindset, right? Can't be scared, right? Can't be scared, people. Um, they gonna cheat again. I've seen it, and, and guess what's gonna happen in the end? I'm done, I'm getting off this motherfucker. You scared to lose the cheater, right? But in the end, eventually the cheater's going to leave you anyway. They're gonna find, uh, sooner or later, mark my words, anybody getting cheated on right now, mark my motherfucking words. Either you're gonna, it's gonna be one or two things. Matter of fact, I'm glad I thought about that. Either you're gonna say, man, I'm done, fuck that shit. You're gonna leave them alone and lose them, or they're gonna find somebody else that they actually like better than you, you know, that will put up with their bullshit and, and fall for their little mask and they're gonna leave you. And a lot of times it's already happened, but you went back and got the cheater. That's my man, that's my woman. It's crazy, man, that's not your woman or man. And they gonna come back because it didn't work with them. Karma, see y'all y'all are saving people from their own karma. The Most High says you cheated on him. Now I'm about to let somebody do you dirty like you did him. And here y'all go with y'all happy little happy feet coming to save the cheater. 
It don't make no sense. You're, you're saving them. When they come back to you, you're now the rebound. The person that they cheated on you with was a rebound. Now you're the rebound. And it's even worse because you're going to believe it's a legitimate relationship again. Like it used to be, but it's not no more. Nine times out of ten when your ex come back, it's because karma hit them smack dead in the face. All that shit they was doing to you happened to them. It blew up in their face. Ten times worse. And now they want to come back to you because the first person they going to think of, damn, I did them dirty. I did this to them. You're going to be the first person they think of because they did you dirty. So they're going to run right back to your ass. And nine times out of ten, y'all going to fall for it because of attachment. Attachment, a.k.a. emotion over intelligence. Stop it, y'all. Stop settling, man. You know, um, like I said before, I wouldn't be who I am right now if I kept settling in relationships, if I didn't leave them. Every time I left, my life got better. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. And I don't have no woman right now, so what? It is what it is. I'm still I'm still happy. I'm still um, improving as a person. I'm not in the position to where um, I feel like a bitch because I know this person cheated on me or, or I'm always arguing with them and all this and all that. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, it's going to be cool for a while once y'all get back together after cheating and all that. But it's going to go right back to what it started. It, it never would have got there in the first place if it wasn't meant to be there in the first place. It never would have got there. That shit didn't happen by accident. It happened because you were supposed to leave it right then and there. But you didn't because your emotions made you run back because you don't understand that part of attachment is hurting. You're going to have to deal with the, the fact that you fucked up. Then I should have picked the person. You're going to have feelings and shit. That's just the way it is. You are a human being. But that's perfectly natural. Do not let that make you run it back to motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That'd be like me when my homeboy stole some shit off of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, that was my dog, man. You're going to have them emotions. But I can't go back to it, man. He played me. Play it simple, man. Y'all have a good day, man.